Juba Nimuli Road is a major primary road connecting the capital to the neighboring countries of Uganda and Kenya. On 10th February 2011, USAID launched the final stage of building the 192km Juba Nimuli Road, the start of tamaking what would be South Sudan first highway, the only paved road outside major towns. The project is funded by USAID in close cooperation with the government of South Sudan through Ministry of Roads and Transport by then. The highway is projected to strengthen development and boost the economic growth in South Sudan. This highway is open to heavy commercial trucks transporting goods to South Sudan. Long use without maintenance has led to numerous damage sections creating hazards to users. Trucks are often involved in traffic accidents. These lead to losses and sharp rises in commodity prices in South Sudanese markets. The Ministry of Roads and Bridges sent a group of engineers to assess the extent of the damage and come up with emergency response on what could be done. Uh, we visit Jibani Mill Road as a team of engineers from Ministry of Roads and Bridges and South Sudan Road Authority. We came with a uh, our long-time contractor, Rhino Stars, led by uh, Peter Tim. Uh, the today visit is an emergency response for the situation which had occurred here. Two days ago, a uh, number of vehicles overturned, and as such it raised an alarm, which the ministry was informed, and uh, the minister happened to send this team. Uh, the minister and the undersecretary of the Ministry of Road and Bridges sent this emergency team to come and assess the situation and look into an emergency on what can be done. Rhino Construction Company would undertake the emergency response to fix the damage to sections along the highway. The engineers of the company would be supervised by a team from the Ministry of Roads and Bridges. Uh, we came to assess, we have seen the level of damage and we have the contractor that will take charge to work on uh, an emergency response. Uh, we as well as have a contractor that has signed a contract with South Sudan Road Authority. And that contractor will begin more likely next month uh, on uh, a long term maintenance. However, the company that came with us, Rhino Stars, will do an emer emergency response that will of course address the issue on the disruption of the traffic which happened. Uh, this is the whole thing that we came about, it's just to address the situation on what can be done. We have assessed the level of the damage and as we go back now, we will formulate what the contractor will do. South Sudan Road Authority contracted the Egyptian company Orascom to do the long-term maintenance on Jubanimuli Road. The company would likely start next month. In the meantime, Rhino Construction Company will do emergency maintenance on dummy sections along the highway for the smooth movement of the traffic, according to the managing director of Rhino Construction Company, Peter Atem. And uh, we, we are emergency of phone anywhere in South Sudan. And uh, we are risk company who take the risk and the lead. We cooperated with Minister of Road a long time ago and want to try to help our people. It, it, because they were one to make this road with the USAID through and under uh, LBG and the Duda Baan or whatever. I'm a subcontractor on the road before. But I came back now, I appreciate it. They cannot give it to us and we are going to make sure that one is going to be cut by concrete. You cannot do with the, with, with the tamar, you cannot do with the maram. You do with the maram, it is useless. Like we do with the concrete, I what the minister said. And uh, we we'll make we we'll make that one run pause a bit with the mice, whatever that thing can put in. And this thing we're well, we going to do it sharply. There are two in the Jebel Garden. Uh, there, there are two places are bad, and the other one in near to Jebel Lane. There are some places were there, and the other one uh, between uh, Captain Cook is there and need to be done. And this is why we are from the public when we are driving, we are going to start the work. Maybe tomorrow or Monday, drive slowly, respect out on the road. Where we are doing, don't pass there. We are going to put a lot of protection and safety. 
all the road building materials that are going to use in the emergency response to the damage sections along the highway road are going to be tested by specialized engineers at the Ministry of Roads and Bridges. Yeah, we are going to bring the aggregate and what we require by the ministry because must be test. You cannot bring something will not be tested by the ministry like aggregate, like whatever, because you are using the road. It's a long term thing. And when you are you cannot be a right, you bring the local material to keep the government. No, we don't want that one. We work the principle of the ministry and give out the document what material are going to be used. We bring a sample to them, like a sermon, we bring a sample like aggregate, and then when they approve that one, we come to start the work right away. No other contractor will do their road. We are not taking your road, we are taking out maybe 500 meters or whatever. We are going to take small, small thing. Because for some of them, when you are doing something for them, they said you are, you are jacking the contract. No, it is emergency. We have been tied by uh, acting on under, uh, under, uh, 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 under the min uh, Minister of uh, Transport, uh, Maduro, uh, the other minister, who will send this people and turn on that portion only. The rest of the work, it is you. Do it, what, what, what Malina are doing, it's up to you. But I'm doing the small part, who can do it, can do it. A lot of work lies ahead of the Ministry of Roads and Bridges to address the issue of trucks and other vehicles overturning along the life-saving highway in South Sudan. Behind us here we can see a number of cars that, that has overturned and again we are also in the morning visit uh, Jebel Gordon where we also have one side that vehicles overturned. There are deep ports hole which vehicles come in and of course they overturned. This is an emergency. So we came as a directive from the Honorable Minister of Road and Bridges and under the of the Minister of Road and Bridges. Our purpose is to make sure that we come up with an intervention. There's a contract signed for these roads. Uh, an Egyptian-based company has signed a contract with South Sudan Road Authority to maintain these roads. A maintenance is likely to start next month. However, what we see behind here needs an intervention. And this is the reason why we brought a team of Rhino Stars. He's a long-term friend and a contractor of Minister of Road and Bridges. He has been so active. So we always call him on emergencies to intervene. Alleviating the human suffering imposed on drivers and pedestrians on Juba Nimoli Road will be a motivation for the engineers of Rhino Construction Company to accomplish the emergency intervention to the sections of the highway, says Peter Atem, the managing director of Rhino Construction Company. And we are going to make that place from here almost is five, uh, 300 and something, and rather than one Gordon, we are going to make sure that thing has been, Gordon, we are going to make concrete. I uh, couldn't come by the ministry. But this year, we are going to make with the maram, make with some blame. Because you cannot make this thing like that. You make something, that, that, that place is a very bad place. It, it damages a lot of track here. And this one, it is in a way, and these are root cause of the rubble that are passing here over the time. And the, and the tiger is still patrolling every day here. And this thing, we are going to done it. Um, the road authority who signed the contract with other company, we are not here to grab the contract, but we are here to improve some other places where bad we want to do it. People cannot believe we are doing something, maybe like 500, 700 meters only. We are not, we're not doing the old road. And thank you very much. People of South Sudan, we are going to make the road. Everyone, like what other road have been open, like Mindy Road, like Juba Rumbek, Tony, whatever. We are still active on that road now, but we are coming here to make sure our people are, are happy. The Somalians are risking their life all the time and are, and are, and are bringing the humanitarian food, they are bringing everything here and bring our food, food for the market. They will not stop again. Anyone here, a driver for no, for one thing, will not stop again. South Sudan relies very much on goods and building construction materials coming from East Africa through Dubai Road. Any interruption on the highway will definitely increase commodity prices in local markets. As happened when truck drivers strike at Aligunumuli border point on the Uganda South Sudan border after a convoy of commercial trucks ambushed by a non government along Juba Numuli Road early this month led to five people were killed and three others injured. <laughs>